Hi guys, I'm Crystal Sky and it is Inktober Day 8's turn. And I was going to use gouache for this piece as well, but I actually want to have a kind of lighter tone because this character, her name is Max. She is a ballerina. Um, I really, really, really like ballerina characters. <laughs> Real big fan of ballerina characters. So she's kind of tomboyish. Let's describe her personality personality a little, little bit. She's tomboyish, driven. She's very focused, determined. And she, because of that, she practices ballet and any form of dance, any chance she can get at all times. All times. She's just out there practicing every minute of every day. That's what she likes to do. She's that type of character. So she's kind of short. Her body type doesn't really match ballet. She's kind of short with, um, not, she's got long arms, but her legs are a little short. And I actually did that on purpose. Woohoo! An anatomy thing that was actually done on purpose um, to match the character. So even though her body isn't really um, akin to ballet and dance in general, that doesn't mean she can't do it. As long as she tries hard, she believes she can do really well. So, um, what inspired this character is there is an anime, which of course it's inspired by an anime, but this character was inspired by a, uh, there's a boys, I, I haven't actually watched it, but there's a boys, or an anime where it's all boys dancing, and I just kind of wanted to have a girl, like almost a typical, but almost a pull from typical in that genre, so... They pulled kind of crazy from typical, which would be like a Princess Tutu style ballerina. Uh, like a little duckling type of ballerina story. Um, and they made them all, they made it all male cast. So I was thinking maybe we can have a female that is just um, kind of boyish and doesn't really fit in with what a normal ballerina would be. I wanted to break. I wanted to break the rambling here. Um, I did ballet for several years, even though I don't seem like someone that would do that. I did that danced for over ten years, from when I was three for ten years. <laughs> I was a crazy dancer, and I did every genre. And I feel like I'm not the type of girl that could do that anymore, but. I don't really like to have that conception because like I said I like to break the mold especially with my characters so she's the type of character that you wouldn't see as a ballerina especially if you saw her in the street but she definitely is a very very driven ballerina and I like her her name is Max I want again I wanted to give her as break the mold name as possible so that's really it. I kind of envisioned her story to be one of, um, no one thinks she can do it. No one really understands her drive to do it. They're like, why would you want to be this thing that no one else wants to be? But, uh, she picks herself up and she works really, really hard and achieves her dream. It would be an achieving dream story, which is great. Um, I drew the shoes weird. I should have driven... I should have had her wear ballet shoes, which I'm very aware of and very akin to. And the reason why I didn't have her do that is because I pictured her practicing even when she doesn't have her shoes on. So, like, at all hours of the day, even when she's wearing normal shoes. Which isn't, isn't healthy. <laughs> it's just not healthy. But you should wear your ballet shoes, especially if you're doing point. But yeah, so that's the type of character I've, I've made here. It's not a very in-depth character. It doesn't have a lot of story, but I really like her. So I wanted to share with you guys. She wasn't originally an Inktober character, but I added her in because I really like the character. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.